Okay, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As you already know, this is your U.S. General 5 Draw 2 card with side tray and deep compartment. Today is Tuesday, okay? And as I always state as usual, I always keep my signature lingering somewhere in the background, my Dunkin' Donuts coffee, okay? I had, um, just a little while ago, just received a message from a particular seller um, from an item that I pulled the trigger on. Um, they just basically just sent me uh, the tracking information, so that item will be on its way. Um, I'm still actually having uh, another mix-up um, with another package that I um, actually purchased, which is uh, a standard half inch drive um snap on set that i'm still expecting and waiting on but unfortunately it just didn't get to me just yet so i still will give it some time okay but until then uh for right now i did receive something that i purchased a little while back um it just arrived to me a little while ago so i'm gonna throw this footage up and uh shoot this video um for some viewers who've asked questions in the past, um, basically about, you know, when they see me go to the cordless lineup, and as you can see, how I have the rubber grips on my cordless, okay? Um, at the prior moment, I have pistol grips on three of my guns. I also have it on a um, 3 8 stubby, but unfortunately, like the half-inch drive and the M18 fuel hex driver, they're designed a little bit differently. So it's not to say that um, the grips don't fit, but it's a little bit more technical to basically get them on due to the fact of its design because they're not designed with this type of handle, okay? But um, as you can see, I do have a package over here. Okay, I'm about to get that open so, you know, the viewers could get an idea of, you know, what they can use with their cordless tools and pneumatic air tools. I actually bought these grips right here for my pneumatic air tools, okay? Um, I know in a lot of videos, you know, from people looking from the outside in, they probably question sometimes, you know, a lot of the equipment and a lot of my tools uh, look new, which a lot of them... In this particular cart, some are, some are not. But when I would be in shop, I do wear latex gloves, nor do I just wear latex gloves. I also wear impact gloves a lot of times. And, you know, after I perform each job, I'm always cleaning my tools after each particular job, as soon as the tool is basically laid down. Okay, so that's for what reason why a lot of times, you know, the tools look brand new, whatever the case might be. Okay, just as well as our also have videos you know showing how to keep your comfort grips cleaned okay because my ratchets when i'm using them yes they do get dirty like everybody else's but i do have a solution you know to keeping your rubber grips clean if you never seen that video i will leave the two videos that um i did shoot in the past i'll leave them in the links in the descriptions of this particular video okay but what we're going to do is we're going to get into this package right here. I'm going to get the items out and we're going to get to it. Okay, as you can see, um, I did order two. I really should have had ordered um, four of them. But at the prior moment, I only um, ordered two of them. Uh, these are not really that expensive at all. Um, paid like I think it's like $1.95 or $2 a piece for them with like a dollar shipping. Okay. So I'm going to get it out the Ziploc so that you can get a good clear look. Then I'm going to get um, my pneumatic air guns out and get these enlarged on my pneumatics. Okay, so now as you can see, um, these are rubber. They're very durable, okay, um, in their design. Okay, they're testically not cheap. They do feel very comfortable in hand. As you can see, it has a uh, heavy, thick finger indent, okay, when you're basically gripping, all right? So, I'm going to get my pneumatics out, and we're going to get to it. 
okay now i got my ingersolls out um as you can see i actually have another uh three stubby that's sitting back here underneath the quarter inch hex also okay um something i want to point out you know to the viewers out there you know if, whether you deal with um pneumatic impact guns or whether you deal with cordless on pneumatic air guns as you can see on a handle here how it has its slot in its handle okay where that the tool you know it has air holes to be able to breathe i guess so you have to be mindful to if you are enlarging the comf the pistol grips okay because you still want that hole to be accessible so as you can see here how it actually has holes so that it does not block the airflow through the handle okay so that's just something you know that i wanted to point out when it comes you know if you're enlarging them on pneumatic air tools in the sense of using them on cordless you know this is not an issue that you would necessarily have to worry about so that's just something that I would like, you know, to point out at this particular time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these grips on the guns and then we're going to take a look. Okay, now as you're getting a good visual with the grip on the gun, okay, now what I was just explaining about its holes, okay, where they're located, it does um, basically succeed where the slit is basically in the handle if you have the grips all the way up to an extent of the trigger okay so in that instance if I can get it up in order for you to see real quick okay so as you can see it's right there so you would technically have to make an adjustment here and you would be able to feel it. So, you know, just so to say, if you had, you know, cut a, you could modify it. Okay. Or just as well as you could move the grip downwards a whole lot much more further towards this end. We'll get a look at that to see, you know, if the holes will be able to get the proper clearance okay just now as I just adjusted it okay now the holes actually have the proper clearance but see now the issue is here which ain't really much you know what I'm saying but if you would like it tight in this area where you know you can still feel it but you know it's just something to keep the handles you know um as you can see i keep protective boots on all my guns whether pneumatic air tools or cordless as you can see there's protective boots actually covering all the guns except two of the ratchets that you see here which is the quarter inch and a 3 8 drive but all the rest of my guns all actually have protective boots on them so you know underneath these boots the guns look spanking brand new as you as if you just purchased them and pulled them out the box so you know they never get scratched up nor they get damaged or anything like that so like i said yeah i'm just throwing this video out there because there have been um quite a few people who asked me you know where did i get the grips from and you know how did i locate them and what made me think you know to put them on the gun and so on and so forth okay so i'm gonna get my other gun out and basically get the other grip on okay so now as you can see I have the grip um, on a half inch the half inch handle is um a little bit more beefier than the 3 8 drive uh, handle so the fitment is a whole lot much more tighter okay the way that it should be okay but like I said you know depending upon what type of guns um, you have, you know, if it has that slit in the handle, you know, you don't want to restrict um, air coming in and out of the vehicle with the grips on. So if a modification or 
there's an area that needs to be cut out or like if I forget the name of those tools that punch the holes in like paper and things like that, you could possibly get one of those, you know, to make a, a extra additional hole, you know, so that the airflow doesn't get blocked or anything like that. But, you know, just to throw the visual out there, you know, and give the viewers the ideas because there has been a, um, a couple of viewers who have commented in the past who've came across a couple of videos and, you know, they basically see me with these on my guns. Like I said, I keep them on all of my guns, even the three stubby. I just don't have it on a um, half inch drive and my M18 fuel brushless quarter inch hex impact driver. Okay. So that's just basically about that at the moment all right yeah so pretty much you know that's gonna be it on the day you know i was keeping this video short and simple for the day like i said i am waiting for quite a few things okay i have been pulling the trigger on quite a few particular items i'm just waiting uh to basically get them in hand and as soon as i get them in hand and i got things you know on deck then you'll be able to get that first bird's eye view just as well as myself okay but like i always state as usual this is your u.s general five draw two cart with side tray and deep compartment and then to the next one we're gonna check you later peace